hello everybody i know this video is like hella late i'm supposed to have been finished it but things happen and i've been like really sick <sighs> when i say like i am going through it with this pregnancy i am going through it with this pregnancy i'm totally over this i'm just tired and i just i'm always sick i just don't feel good and stuff excuse my appearance i just don't care at this point I really don't <laughs> but uh yeah um the day of my doctor's appointment uh they wouldn't let me record in there so the doctor told me I couldn't the nurses said they didn't know I had to ask the doctor I asked him he said no he rather me not so I couldn't record you know what I'm saying everything that was going on I could record I got a picture of the ultrasound and I got the heartbeat and I'll show that at the end of the video <laughs> So, I really apologize. I was really excited. I really thought they were going to let me record, you know what I'm saying, as he was doing the, you know what I'm saying, everything that he was doing. But I, he didn't do, he didn't do the, uh, the ultrasound on top of my stomach. He went, it's, I think it's called a, a probe ultrasound when they got to stick the thing up in your hoo-ha, you know what I mean? And, um, so, I think that's probably part of the reason why he was like, no, like, I'd rather you not record you know what I'm saying this so I couldn't record I know I was very upset hopefully the next one he can do it on top of the stomach and uh then I can like he'll let me record that because he, I guess he just was worried about people I don't know <laughs> it's not like I was gonna put the camera down there like look look this is what he's doing you see it like I wasn't gonna do that I was just gonna record as far as like me laying down and the screen and him doing his thing on a little computer and stuff but he said no so I couldn't but, um, yeah, I am officially three months, uh, well, three months in, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, four days, three months and four days, officially, 12 weeks and four days, exactly. So, um, yeah, I was just coming in, uh, really to finish the video so I can go ahead and edit it. Sorry, I got a call, interrupted the video. Um, but yeah, um, I was just trying to finish this video so I can go ahead and put everything together. And I can put it out for you guys. Like I say, I'm sorry, it's late. Like I've been really sick. Like I've been really, really sick. Like this is not the business, this pregnancy. Like my weight is up and down. Some days I'm sick, some days I'm not. The doctor wants me to eat more. He said pregnant women are supposed to eat every two hours. I feel personally like that's just excessive eating, you know. And on top of that, I'm not that far along. And then my appetite is not extreme like that to where I have to constantly, you know what I'm saying, eat and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, is the baby okay? He like, the baby's weight is fine. The baby looks good. The heartbeat's strong. But it's just you I'm worried about because I'm still losing weight. If y'all didn't know, I used to be 230 pounds, and I'm down to 198 pounds now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't have the appetite. I don't have the intense appetite to just sit there and just like, they like, girl, you gonna be eating up some stuff. You about to be tearing up some food. You finna gain all that weight back. Don't worry about it. I honestly don't think I am. And then, uh, I don't have any weird cravings or, you know... I don't have no weird cravings like, I guess, pickles and ice cream or peanut butter and pickles or, you know, whatever those little weird pregnancy cravings. I don't have none of that. Like, my mouth is dry all the time. <sighs> I'm out of breath all the time. My stomach cramps all the time. I have weird pains in my private area and, like, cramps and sharp situations in my pelvis and my back. And I'm telling y'all, like, I am so over this. I, and I, and this just the beginning. I still got six more months of this. And people said it's going to get worse. So, when I say I'm only doing this one time, I am only doing this one, one time. I'm having one child. That is it. I ain't having no more kids after this. I swear on my last heartbeat, I will not get knocked up again. No. No, ma'am. I do not enjoy this. <laughs> Everybody else like, oh, it's going to get better. You're going to wait till you feel the flutters and the kicks. And 
at this point, I don't care about no flutters. I don't care about no kicks. I just want to go and just be not pregnant and just have this baby and just not be pregnant no more. <laughs> I am. I am so serious. I, I'm, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not. I honestly, I am not enjoying none of this pregnancy. I'm sick. I have never been so sick in my life. Like constantly throwing up, nauseated, headaches, like stomach, all these weird cramps and. You know what I'm saying? I got weird sensations in my, you know what I'm saying? My, you know, down there. They like, oh, that's just your hormones. And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm constantly peeing. Like, I don't like it. I just don't. <laughs> I don't like it. Like, I'm so miserable. on my body back to myself. <sighs> Can't wait for these six months to fly by so I can just go on and push a couple times and bam baby out and i'm you know what i'm saying i'm just myself again so but yeah um um yeah my next doctor's appointment is sorry i got me a little uh plan weekly planner to keep up with like all my doctor's appointments um it is January 14th. My next doctor's appointment is January 14th. So hopefully by that time, uh, I am able to, uh, uh, he can do the, uh, the ultrasound on top of my stomach. So therefore, uh, I can record that because, uh, like I said, he wouldn't let me do it this time because he was like, you know, you know. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. But, uh, next video, which is next Thursday, I'll be 13 weeks. And you gotta excuse me, my, my allergies is going crazy because the weather in Oklahoma is, like, confused. It, like, right now, it's nice. It's nice. It's sunny. It's warm. Any other day, it's cold as hell. Like, this morning, it was freezing. It was frost all on the grass and on the ground, on my car, and... And now it's like sunny and all bright and hot and, you know what I'm saying? So my allergies is just going off, they like everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking Benadryl, my nose stopped up, I'm sneezing, my mouth is dry. I think the mouth dry is part of pregnancy or something. And these prenatals they got me on, honey, let me tell you. The first day I took one of these prenatals, I wish I had a pill so I can show you what it looked like. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, this is my prenatal. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's just like this huge pill. I don't even know if my phone does that. You cover my face. Well, y'all can see it. This is my prenatal. This pill is big as hell. And uh, the first day I took it, it uh, I didn't know you were supposed to eat. I didn't know you were supposed to eat. Uh eat before you take the pill and then wait a minute and then take the pill i took the pill first and then i waited later on to when i took my first 15 at work and then i ate and when i tell you when i got to work and started working and that pill started breaking down in my stomach honey i thought my whole life was over i was so sick <laughs> I was throwing up, my stomach was all in knots and turning, and I was nauseated, I was really nauseated, I was hot and sweating, I was crying, like, I was just like, I can't do this, I'm like, and, this, and then everybody was like, yeah, those prenatals is kind of strong, and this, that, and the other, and you may not be able to take them, blase, etc., I'm like, it can't be that bad, Shh shit like that motherfucker pill had me at work about to fucking die like i was about to ready to tell my boss like i gotta go home like i can't my stomach is hurting like i was crying like i could not even function i couldn't even do shit i was hot and sweating i wanted to come up out of all those clothes like i was at work going through it but he let me take an early lunch he let me take an early lunch and uh i forced myself to eat something even though i wasn't hungry i made myself eat something and I went to my car and I went to sleep for like 35, 40, like 40, 40 to 35 minutes. 
and then it was like kind of chilly outside so i was in the car so it was kind of cold so it was helping me because i was like i was hot like i was at beads of sweat on my forehead like i was hot and so i think it's for, for right my stomach and everything but i slept and when i woke up i felt so much better i felt so much better maybe it's because i ate and then slept and the food settled and stuff i don't know but when i say i felt so much better Honey, I said I feel so much better. So now, when I take the prenatals, I eat like a decent amount, not a whole bunch to make me sick, cause I can't eat a whole bunch of food because I get really nauseated if I overeat. So I eat enough to put something in my stomach that heavy, that's heavy, that's kind of heavy, and then I take the pill. I wait a minute and then I take the pill, and then it don't make me sick at all. So that's the way I gotta take the uh, the prenatals now. So yeah, but uh. Yeah, I'm just coming in really quick to um tell y'all why I didn't finish the video. Like I said, I was just I just wasn't feeling good, and I just like lately, I, seriously, like I don't know. I guess the further I get along, they say you're not gonna really want to do nothing. I honestly don't want to do anything. I don't want to go nowhere. I hate when I have to get up and get in my car to drive and go somewhere. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to be at home doing absolutely nothing, just laying around doing nothing. And then my stomach cramps. It cramps a lot, and that said, that's because I'm on my feet moving around too much. I need to sit down and rest. So on my days off, I usually just stay home and don't do anything. I don't go nowhere. I don't. I don't do nothing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna stand up. Let y'all see my stomach. I'm gonna end this video until next Thursday, and I will come back and we'll talk about something. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna stand up so y'all see my stomach. This is a three month belly. It's starting to get hard too, y'all. I'm kinda I'm kinda excited. And it's starting to poke out a little bit right here. And it's getting hard. Yeah, down here it's not really it's not hard. It's still kinda soft. But up here it's starting to harden out and stuff. Oh, but that's the shirt up. Okay. This is the shirt down on the right. Sorry, I'm not wearing a bra, but y'all know I never wear one because I don't care. I don't give a shit. Bras are uncomfortable. I don't want to wear them. <laughs> this is the front. This is the other side. I'm going to be so big. Jesus Christ. Um, no. This is the shirt up. Excuse me. You know, I got stretch marks. Y'all know I don't give a damn. Okay. This is one side of the belly. Three months. Remember, I'm three months pregnant. This is the front. And this is the other side. Like I say, my stomach is starting to harden and stuff. So, yep. That's a three month belly. <laughs> but yeah. Um, like I say, you'll see me <laughs> next week, which is, well, actually, this week, this Thursday. I'll be 13 weeks. And that'd be officially uh, three months in a week. So, yeah. I'll come back Thursday and we will find something to discuss. I don't know what we're going to talk about. But we will discuss something. But until then, I'll talk to y'all later. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe on my video. And... Deuces. It is a baby. <laughs> it is a baby. Hey, yeah. It's moving.